I don't want to be in your picture. Hey, Mom. I told you I'd be home soon. I told you I'd be home. Bella, come here. Happy Fourth of July, my Stephanie. Oh, oh, this is the best surprise ever. What's up, Marine?
one? <laughs> Higher. <laughs> And we're not even here for a meeting, but we kept you held over to that. Oh my god. I was supposed to I was gonna say something, but I knew I get choked up, so <laughs> with that go cam on my head. <laughs> oh my, so okay, no meeting. No, <laughs> Science? Yeah, have you seen weird, weird science? No. Uh -uh. Have you seen weird science? No. Uh -uh. oh. The Central High School graduation ceremony started out like any other. Speeches, other opportunities just waiting for us. music, and of course, handing out diplomas. Proud parents watched on, but for one student, something was missing, her father. I don't think it really real I realized that it was um, that he wasn't going to be here until he called me because it's the same number that he's been calling me from the past five months. Taylor Crafton's father, Chris, a member of the Air Force, had been deployed to Cuba months prior. The Craftons didn't think Chris would be able to make it, so they had this made. My mom's friend, she, uh, she made it for us back in Virginia and sent it to us for prom and then for graduation so he could still be here in spirit. But as it turns out, they didn't need it at all. He's here. <laughs> I'm just so happy he's here. Better than a car, better than anything. So, yeah, it's all I wanted for graduation. Since Taylor was three months old, Chris has gone through nine deployments. For a total of about 1,782 days to be exact. Over the years, she's missed a lot. I've missed a lot. Uh, you know, birthdays, Christmas, that kind of thing. So I just tried my best to get here for when she graduated. This is my last deployment, so I had to make it happen. But this just wasn't a surprise for Taylor. No one in the Crafton family knew Chris would be here. These are just things that you see on YouTube or on TV, you know, it's nothing that's that really happens to, to people that you know, so it's, it's just the best feeling in the world. And you had no idea he was doing this? None. <laughs> this is one time he even surprised me. <laughs> It's no surprise to this father, these graduation pictures wouldn't be right without him. You know, this is a once in a lifetime thing I had to do for her, so uh, I'm just glad it happened. With photojournalist Michael Yoshida, I'm Victor Correa.
walk right in. Go ahead. No. There she is. Excuse me, excuse me. Returning home from deployment is an exciting time for both military members and family. Master Sergeant Joseph Martell is no exception, but he's one of the lucky ones. He got to come home early. His wife is aware of the early return, but his son has no idea. Hi, I'm Master Sergeant Joe Martell. I uh, just returned from Afghanistan and I'm in Brussels. Uh, surprised my son during his football game. Trading one uniform for another, the uniform of the opposing team, Sergeant Martell waited patiently as his son, number 51, played his heart out on the field, unaware of his watching father standing only yards away. In between the third and fourth quarter, referees called a meeting on the field to discuss sportsmanship, a clever disguise for a family reunion. I had no idea what was going to happen, and all of a sudden, if he was just there, I thought he was, I don't even know how many miles, and next thing I know, he's standing in front of me, and I'm giving him a hug. I felt outstanding to uh, be able to surprise him like that and uh, see his reaction. A moment of genuine emotion and surprise, a family reunited, and a priceless memory made, a father and son together again. You don't even know what to do. You just want to, like, jump up and down like a little kid. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm exhausted, but I'm excited to see, uh, see my son, uh, spend some good quality time with him, and uh, enjoy some football. Go. What is that? You're so 